This is always real fucking awkward. So I'm in the in the middle of a rewrite with Ava. Um, I finished the script in December, and uh, it was in a place where I was very happy with. And this last rewrite is two things. It is a tightening pass, just to you know, to get rid of any excess fat that maybe I didn't notice when I was writing it, since uh, it was so intense uh, about half a year ago. And the other part is uh, going through this process of um, making sure I could shoot it tomorrow. If there's a scene that's set in uh, bleachers in a school football stadium and I don't have access to the football stadium, I don't have access to a school at all, um, and I can't shoot it tomorrow, I reset that scene someplace I have access to, like my kitchen, like this table, like my living room, like like some someplace like that that I know I can have access to on the day. Now that was supposed to be what was happening. However, what is what seems to have happened today is all my insecurities as a writer are coming straight to the forefront. I'm uh, unhappy with every decision I've ever made, ever. Every idea I get is garbage. Every twist I add is garbage. It doesn't mean it actually is. It just means that my, my mind won't, won't allow for the idea that uh, I'm having a good idea. And that's really hard. Uh, that's hard at the best of times. And it's really, really fucking hard when you're trying to rewrite a script uh, and, and have to project this um, this sense of you know what the fuck you're doing. Um, I, I made this, uh, I started a podcast to go, you don't have to look at it. Um, and I, I spoke with Mark Holtz on it and I had this great quote that came out of me, which was um, directing is leading, not bossing people around. Um, a boss is someone who tells you what to do. A leader is someone who points you in the right direction, so to speak. And what I mean by that is, um, I choose in my own time um, with my collaborators or whatever an idea of what this movie should be like. This is the direction we're going in. It doesn't mean it'll be good. It just means it'll be consistent. Um, and right now, uh, obviously you hope that it's good too, but right now I'm very much in a state of I don't know which of my ideas are good. I don't know which are bad. Um, and it's all coming down to it needs to get done. So these decisions have to be made, and uh, the fear, and I think the anxiety that's kind of locking me up is due to the fact that I want to make sure all the decisions I'm making are pointing us in a direction for the best version of this movie, and I know I know that no matter what I do, I'm going to fail in certain regards to that. My, my goal is just to fail as fail the least amount as possible. I broke down the story into a five act structure and wrote down the essentials of it because I'm I'm realizing that, you know, the location isn't important. What's important is the characters. So as long as the main through line of what Ava is going through, what Maggie is going through is illustrated, uh, we're good. It doesn't matter if it takes place in a football stadium. It doesn't matter if it takes place in my living room. It, it matters that the emotion of the scene gets across. And that's a constant... Um, Constant learning experience. Um, for the first time in my life, I'm writing multiple multiple projects at the same time. I have multiple projects in motion at the same time. Uh, this month alone, I'm DPing at the end of a month at the end of the month for a short film in New Jersey. Then rolling straight into Ava. Then editing that same short film I'm DPing. Then making a trailer for another movie I'm making, which has not been announced yet, which will be fun. And then editing Ava, and God knows what else I'll be doing with the rest of the year. And it's it's just a it's a very very busy time, which is great. Um, at the beginning of April, I was working at a supermarket, um, literally stocking shelves, uh, mostly yogurts. And by the end of that month, I was working freelance full time, and I still am. And it's it's a very strange, uh, wonderful but strange feeling of getting paid well, doing something I enjoy. Um, I've never been financially secure and emotionally satisfied at the same time, ever. Uh, so this is a new experience for me. And uh, what I'm trying to do is use the money, put it toward the best place that I can, um, investing in myself, putting away for taxes because I don't want to get fucked over on that, while also coordinating my entire film and how many people are going to be in my house at the same time. Uh, everyone is vaccinated except for me, and I'll be getting vaccinated the first shot on Saturday and second shot sometime before Ava starts. So that's good. That's a very comforting feeling. Um, all those technical things are easier to talk about because they're physical. At the end of the day, I need to make sure the script is as good as all those bits and pieces that are flying around 
are. So when they do land, uh, they've got they've got solid solid landing ground. I have no idea if that metaphor makes sense. Basically, I want to make sure I make a good movie, and I'm insecure about how I'm going to do that. Uh, I've been talking for 15 minutes, and I don't want to talk anymore. Uh, making a movie is really fucking hard.